Greetings everybody, Guy McMonstermaker here representing the Creature Porium, and today we are going to be polypainting this uh, Jack Torrance sculpture that we have in front of us. Um, normally I don't need to polypaint because these things get 3D printed and, um, you know, they just, you're going to have to you have to paint them in the real world anyway. But uh, sometimes when you have a client that you're working for, you want to be able to show them that it's not so much the, um, the what's lacking is the color. Because a lot of times with a likeness, especially a likeness of a person, uh, it takes a while to get a feel for it unless you're looking at um, like a finished product. Okay. So anyhow, we're just going to go ahead and jump in here with Spotlight, and we're going to see what we can do to kind of texture this guy up a little bit. So we're going to go to Texture, and we're going to import a texture. And here I have a image of Jack Torrance's face that I'm going to use. And we're just going to go ahead, go to Spotlight, select this, and go to Add to Spotlight. All right, so now we have our Jack Torrance head here. All right, so now the first thing that we need to do is scale this up. And let's go ahead and go to RGB, disable Z add. And what we want to do is we just want to find the pieces that we need to paint on here. So we'll start with, we'll start with the forehead. So, as you can see, my image here should line up with the actual asset, if I did my job correctly. So, we're pretty close, right about here. All right, now you hit Z to get out of the selector mode. And now we're just going to kind of come in here, and we're going to start to paint paint this in. Now, I'm not going to paint the entire asset. That's not necessary. Okay. Now hit Shift Z and that'll take us out of there. Okay. Now you'll see that we have some highlights from the gleam in his forehead. Okay, now let's go ahead and line the eye up. What we want to do is line up the iris. Right there, like so. Hit Z again. And we'll come in here. And we'll continue painting. Now, the texture on this, obviously, is going to be lacking a little bit. Because uh, this file has some weird opacity issues going on. But that's okay. Now we're going to go ahead and let's select a different material so we can see this a little bit clearer. There, we'll use that one. Okay, now let's go ahead and hold Z again, or Shift-Z. There we go. Just Z. And now let's bring the other eye into play here. And we want to match it up with that pupil. It's right about there. And we need to scale this down. Or we'll here, we'll scale you up. And now we'll bring you over here, rotate you a bit. Now because we are human, it, uh, it does take some time. To get these likenesses down, all right, now we'll come in here. Paint you. And then we'll hit Shift Z. There we go. Hit Z again. And we'll take the nose here. Scale that up. Right about there. Z. Come in here. And this is all going to be overpainted anyway. So we're basically kind of patching it together because I'm going in and out, zooming in and out. It's kind of hard to 
tell what's what's what. Okay, so now because this image is different than what I ended up using for my sculpture, you have to kind of find a happy medium. So the top of the lips will go there, bottom there, come in here. Shift Z. Okay, so now you can see where we're going with this though. It uh, It's coming along, but there are certain little spots that need more refinement. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it'll look like. Ooh, goodness, no. Let's find, I want to find one. Ew, too slimy. I can live with that. Okay, so now we have the lips. We have that. Let's go ahead and now take a look at what we can do for, say, the hair here. So, hit Control Z. Now we don't have uh, the hair is not sticking out here. So, one thing that we can do is we can really quickly, let's take a look at the teeth here. Okay. And let's grab this top paint right here. And let's scale this down. Let's kind of just paint along here. And this manual painting, is something that you know it just has to be done every once in a while but this is a very down and dirty process but we're only doing this so that we can show the likeness that's it and there's nothing to do with the actual quality of the paint job because this is digital and that is irrelevant so let's kind of come in here. There. Now the teeth are, you know, for all intents and purposes, fairly decent. Okay. And over here, because I am a stickler for detail, we have a opening where in the film he gets cut in the head right in here so you want to of course reflect that kind of come in here and then as blood trickles it does tend to be a little bit lighter as it comes down here. So we're just coming in. And again, this is purely for visualization purposes. It has nothing to do with the actual sculpture. That gets taken care of when it's actually painted and printed. So there we go. Um, now, of course, one thing that we can do is we can take our image here and we can sort of try to manipulate the pieces here so that, say, we can paint this part in here like so. But it doesn't quite match up. This is why it, it does help to uh, to have multiple uh, reference images on hand. But in this case, we only had this one. But that was, again, also on purpose. So one thing that we can do is let's go ahead and get some hair textures really quick. Uh, 
Okay, so then we have our hair texture really quickly loaded in. And we're just gonna, you can see, and this is not the uh, correct color for Jack Torrance, but it will get the point across. Come in here, just keep painting, painting, painting. And then we'll come over here. And another thing that you can do is you can change the opacity. That way you can see a little bit more of your actual piece here. And then we can up the radius a little bit. And there we go. There we are. And again, this is all simply a part of the artistic process. If I was going to be working on, say, doing this for a, um, like a, uh, say, oh, hang on one second. There we go. If I was making a, a digital asset that I was going to be putting on, like, say, Turbo Squid or something, then this is where this would be more applicable um, but we're not doing that there we go and now you can see again you'll see that we need to rotate this in the opposite direction because it is you know it'll look odd flowing in the direction that it was so you come in here, do the same thing. Then you'll see that it cuts off. This image has some spots on it that are a little, a little hard to to paint. They, uh... There we go. All right, so because we don't have extra uh, face faces, uh, rather, we don't have extra uh, images that I can use to paint him from the side. But I mean, for a you know, for a front head-on image, that's actually not too shabby. So let's go ahead and now we'll take this. We'll rotate it. We're gonna make this a little smaller here. Let's bring it into place. Let's go up just a little bit more. Okay, now up oh, defeats the purpose. If I adjust it like so. Yeah, definitely don't want to do that. The paint radius is much too large. Okay. Now we can come over here. Z, take that, rotate this, like so, just for texture's sake, and then we'll come in here and we'll do this one. Again, it's very simple, down and dirty, and there we have it. So now we have our Jack Torrance and he's for the most part poly painted <laughs> but that is how you would go about basically creating the you know poly painted asset and there you go as you can see the eyes the pupils everything line up um, the 
bottom lip lines up, the nose shape lined up fairly well, the hairline lined up, and that was uh, when I designed it, I actually eyeballed that, so I was very happy about that. But there you go. This is Guy McMonster Maker saying, I hope you found this process useful. Um, you know, in the future, when you are working with a, an asset that has, you know, needs to be textured on multiple fronts, make sure that you have a side image that you use as well. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the with this, even though it's like a simple little test, you know. <laughs> All right. Take care.